Well, this is an important concept or concept in bonding, in ionic compound. So let me share with you this, okay? Let this structure of ionic compound, all right? So for example, and this is the case study, can I just let you know, everyone when you teach ionic compound, it will be this, so it's a case study, which means you need to know it very, very well inside out, all right? So sodium chloride, once again, uh, is made up of sodium and chloride ions, all right? So in the solid state, when they are solid state, physical state wise, the ions are packed in keyword giant, ionic, or crystal lattice structure. Choose one word, both words is correct. Okay, so whichever your school uses, just use it. In national exam, just use one, don't write both, okay? That shows that you're very, very unstable. Okay, you're, you're memorizing and you don't know. Okay, so ionic or crystal lattice structure. So let's take a look at the structure and everyone, you need to know it. You won't be asked to draw, but you'll be asked to identify it and to play with it. Okay, so let me bring it in for you. Okay, here we go. Uh, Na plus ions, can I use, uh, say, green color? Let me show you, uh, color code wise. Let this be green, okay? So where is it? Let's choose one in the middle. Uh, can I have a light blue for chloride? Okay, hope this color is fine for you, which is that, all right? So uh, here we go. So you take a look at what's around the green color dot in the middle, the sodium ion. Uh, there is chloride ions on the left, on the right, on top, below, in front, and behind. It's three dimension. So one is to how many? By six. So here we go. Each sodium ion is surrounded by six chloride ions. And if you draw this structure, this lattice structure, this is what I call cage, the story, right? Okay, uh, a bit longer and bigger, right? This is like my whole body, you just chop one part of it to do, is it okay? But it is then bigger, you, it has no end to it, infinite, right? So if you take a look carefully, each chloride ion is also surrounded by six Na plus ions, which means if you look at it, eventually the ratio will be one is to one. Let me show you how come the chloride ion is surrounded by six sodium ions, right? Chloride once again is light blue. Remember, just extend a bit further and you see them. Here we go. Uh, I'll just quiver up, right? So, Medina, there is one more here. You can see? Let me use a uh, black first and then uh, the other color to okay, green to highlight, okay? Or mirror over here. So, let me draw it out for you. Uh. All right, so same thing. Let me use a line. Where is it? Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Can you see? These are all green color, isn't it? Okay, so for sodium chloride, all right, um, each of the positive ions, any plus ions, is surrounded by six chloride, and each chloride is surrounded uh, in turn by six sodium. All right, usually we can't draw forever, so we draw a cube for you to see. Huh? Okay, so because of that, the ratio is one is to one. I'll tell you where's the trap. Okay, in MCQ, they like to set this. For example, uh, they ask you straight to the point, what's the ratio of Na plus ion to Cl minus ion in the lattice structure of sodium chloride? Is it okay? And the options will be this, A, B, C, and D. You know what I'm going to do? I share with you. Later you see why students will choose this. They'll put this. Obviously, now you should know answer is one is to one. I told you before. But I share with you why people make mistakes. It's because they don't understand the structure at all. Here you go. Okay, so what they do uh, is this. They count the number of, uh, I forgot what color I use. I think it's green, right? Sodium. Go and count the green. Ladies and gentlemen, let's do it together. This dot, uh, the black dot. From the top to the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13. Do you really like that? So people will say it's 13, uh, I counted already. Okay, then we count. And then that should be the answer. Very easy, uh, teacher say one. All right, so here we go, light blue. How many are there from top to bottom? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Do you see what I see? So what's the answer they will choose? They will choose A. Some people count wrongly, they will choose B, 14, 13. They choose B, they, they count the answer. Not count wrongly, but count N ion first, correct first. Which is wrong answer, which is wrong answer. Right, they're going to do that. They're going to do that. Right, uh, everyone please uh, send message, uh, not private, but to uh, everyone, because uh, I will not be able to look at private messages. Thank you. Okay, so once again, uh, how do we know this? I'm going to explain this. All right, so 13 to 14, you have to say that it's therefore, because it's very close, it's so close, it's by one, right? It's about one is to one. Why? Because we did not drop it enough for you to see. Okay, 13, 14. That's how we look at it. Again, we drop it enough and there's a finite number to it. And yes, you will see it. Okay, uh, you will only be in the code, or rather in the syllabus, you just need to know, I think, uh, Zunin asked me this question, I mean, is it correct? Technically, you will not be tested on, uh, what's the word? Lattice, giant learning lattice structure of other uh, so-called variables. That's why I say case study sodium chloride. Because even if you ask my JC2 students, right, they also don't know. Because that's under material science, which I learned when I was in first year doing material science as a module, as a subject. Okay? That's a big, itself is, uh, I don't know, three months of stuff just on this. Perfect. <laughs> Crystal lattice structure. Okay? But to answer your question, there's another way to look at it. Everyone, follow this. I'm going to use another color for you. Uh, can I use dark blue? Another way to answer Zoom question, how you know is one is to one? Can. Everyone, you know how to see 3D cube? This big cube is made up of eight smaller cubes. I hope you agree with me. And in 3D, I show you one of the cube right now in dark blue. Can you see? That's why I promise you all, whoever come up here, I'm going to deep dive inside, just that yeah, there's nothing else I think you need to know. 
in order to do your chem bonding well, right? But if it's connected to other topics like ADS and so on and so forth, obviously you must be good, right? You must be good with them because chemistry, everything is connected, right? So, but based on bonding, I will tell you everything that I know. So here we go. Let's say sodium is this, right? Let's count together. Sodium was the one asked me this question, right? Count. Ready? Ready? Yeah. One, two, three, four. Okay. Not your head. Good. Not your head. Thank you. Carry on. Chloride. One, two, three, four. Got it, Junin. And everyone, four is to four. Simplest ratio, one is to one. Done. Try on it. Let's structure our sodium chloride. The case study. <clears throat> everyone, okay. Can I get a thumbs up uh, so that I know you're good and then I carry on a bit? We have a break study. It's just left with a bit more. Alright, let's finish it. Probably about 10 more minutes we go for it. Alright. Thank you for the thumbs up. Thank you for the thumbs up. Alright.